Richard. And Charlie. So when we sent Charlie to Ed, um, we were really in a very bad state. Charlie had turned, um, he actually bit me. I panicked. Um, they ended up putting him in a shelter. I had to get him out of the shelter because I knew he had been spooked and um, I didn't know what to do. And Ed had met him before and he told me I should do the, the board and train and board. And I didn't want to do it, but at this point I felt like there's no other option. So he was with Ed for the three week period of time and Ed sent us videos and was in constant contact with us whenever I, I think I bothered him like this, um, yeah, probably more something. than anybody else ever did, but he was always responded. He always um, told me what was going on, so I felt much more comfortable. And I also saw that even though Charlie was doing all these things, going to place, going in the creek, doing whatever he was asked, I also saw a really strong connection with Charlie and Ed. So I felt comfortable because I knew he was also getting loved. And when we got him home, Ed told us pretty much what we should do and what we should continue doing. And it was like a different dog. I mean, he listened to every little thing. He had been good, except I didn't trust him. Uh, he Resource guarding is a problem for him. And, um, we actually went away with my son. There were like 12 people in the house who were there for over a week. I had his collar on just to be sure, but he was a different dog. Yeah. Um, we're so happy with it. We feel we made all the right choices. And if anyone wants to call me and ask me, I'm available because this changed our dog. So thank you, Ed. I'll suck it, man. <laughs>